Guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of the wonderful The Arsenio's ESL Podcast. Man, I'm so grateful. I'm going to be giving you guys a couple of micro clips in regards to the reading because this particular student, I love her so dearly. Her name is Claudia. Again, she's already achieved a 96 on the very, very corrupted TOEFL IBT test back two years ago. Although, I do believe in 20, uh, t- what is it, 2021, it was actually still pretty good because I had a number of high scores throughout that year, especially from some Filipinos who live in Las Vegas and stuff like that. So, again, it probably wasn't too corrupted, but by the time the beginning of this, oh, I'm sorry, last year rolled around, it was totally fucked. The Indians had completely b- destroyed the system, okay? And so, she ended up getting a very high score, but the problem with her, not with the reading, but with the test in general, is that she has to overcome herself in terms of overanalyzing, and she needs that kick in the ass and that someone to hold her accountable. So in this test, it was so funny because the question before, she was lost and she took about two minutes and 22 seconds. So I switched it up and said, you know what? Let me break down each of these questions and boom, lay it on her. And you know what's crazy? Right after I coach her in these two minutes, and I break it down the way I do. Within about 30 seconds, she finds the answer without fail. And so this is the beauty of coaching. This is the beauty of me taking my students through the process to maximize it. So I'm gonna be giving you guys these micro clips so you can see. However, if you guys wanna actually, um, well, listen, but if you guys wanna actually see it, follow me on Instagram. Big shout out to a lot of people who are following me on Instagram too, I'm so grateful. So many people from around the world, and I'm just excited nonetheless about all the different individuals who are coming forth. So with that being said, people, we're going to dive into this and let's go. In a rhetorical purpose question, we're supposed to look only before, only before the sentence that the highlighted question is in. So if you look here, it says the Agerson site in Denmark, what we're going to do is you see Agerton site here, but before that it says one such site. So to be honest with you, Claudia, you're probably like, okay, one such site, what do you, as in terms of what? The only way to get an understanding is by looking at the sentence before. This is exactly where you are going to look. Now, that's it. You're not looking any more down, any more up. It's that sentence right there. So the author mentions the Agerson site to give an example of what? Ding, 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 ding. Okay, look at the sentence. Let me see your answers. Let's go. Sorry, I'm like trying to get this stupid thing. My bad. Hey. do it i can show note taken i think i know how to do it now oh it's the video oh my phone has to be connected to the macbook to do it oh yes guess what i could finally do note taken and show my iphone camera and the notes that i take <laughs> i'm fucking amazing oh my god okay b, but the phone b. must be connected okay sorry go ahead what was that b b to give an example of a small da 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 bam you see that you have just won rhetorical purpose questions for the rest of your life congratulations <laughs> was that crazy because i could tell you right now if i told you and guess what you did that probably in about 45 50 seconds you save time you're now at a plus 40 deficit but you're still at a negative 20 because the question before right however by knowing exactly where you're supposed to look, you're probably looking at why does the author mention, more than likely you probably would have read the answers or you would have went to the paragraph and read a whole bunch of different things and then go to the answers and back to the paragraph, back to the answers, back to the paragraph, back to the answers, back to the paragraph, back to the answers. See, I'm telling you, man, location, we're saving time and we know exactly what the hell we're doing. This is exactly what the last video in my reading course is going to describe to you. 